one is Jalen Rose. We've got the NBA on a Wednesday, and it's brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. The Indiana Pacers will soon be tipping off against the New York Knicks. We send it now to the world's most famous arena, where Mike and Jeff are ready to the ball. Welcome to Madison Square Garden in New York. It's Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN as we get set for Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks taking on Paul George and the Indiana Pacers. Let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups as we close in on the opening tip. Hello again everyone along with Jeff Van Gundy Mike Green on hand calling the action tonight. All right as this game gets underway what's the key to success for New York here tonight. When someone gets hurt like Danny Granger did for the Indiana Pacers last year, opportunity opens up for somebody else. And Paul George took full advantage of the additional opportunities. Offensively, he evolved from what was a spot-up shooting two guard into an attack the basket three when he took over for Granger. He still added the three-point shot to keep defensives honest. He's also a much improved pick and roll passer. And then we know about the elite defense. The elite defense you can count on every single night and the rebounding is there every night as well. To the rim, misses the layup. Out of bounds, Ref says it'll be Pacers ball. To George, wide open for two, knocks it down. Raymond Felton with the ball in possession. Anthony. To Felton. Quick release for three. And Raymond Felton with the play from way downtown. Great confidence to shoot that long three from straight on and knock it right in. The Pacers bring it up on offense. To George, fires for two, and Paul George with the jump shot, nails it. The concentration to be able to shoot through the contested hand, that's a big time shot. To Anthony, Felton, to Chandler. Anthony. Oh, he gets him to commit, and Carmelo Anthony with the bucket. Give me good offense over good defense any day of the week. Well defended possession, but better offense. To West. Strong finish at the rim. Oh, that's nice right there. The finish at the rim with the nice dunk. Felton walks it across. Nice movement around the perimeter. Anthony, lots of room there. George the rebound. That's just not getting it done defensively. If you want to win in close games, you've got to eliminate open jump shots. To Anthony. Forced to make the pass. Passes it back to him. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Chandler makes the adjustment, but misses. It's hard to close out on great shooters. Tremendous job right there, getting his hand up, mirroring the ball. Felton.
to George. Puts it up for two. He can't get it to fall. Gets to the rim and drops it in. I like that he didn't go for style points. Just nice, easy layup at the basket. Anthony. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Knocks down the three-pointer. That's a nice catch-and-shoot jump shot. To George. With the hook. Gets it to go. Four-point lead for the Pacers. You need guys who can make shots under duress and pressure. That was a well-defended possession, but that man stuck it even against the best defense. Whistle sounds out of bounds, so it'll be Nick's ball. Both coaches now feeling they need to make some changes on the floor. Stoudemire. Anthony the jumper. And hits the three. Look at that form. That's a thing of beauty. To Hibbert. Shut down. Forced to make the pass. To the basket. Flips it up. Able to hit. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good way up. To Anthony, puts it up, flips that one in. Listen, he did all he could right there. Came over, challenged the shot, the ball just went in the basket. To Hibbert. Good solid entry pass. Back in his way down in the post. All the fate, now puts it up, scores. Nice move. Felton moves into the front court. To Stoudemire. Let's it go. Can't hit the two. Nice left handed. Two points on the layup. To Stoudemire. do it for the first quarter. The Knicks down by five. We'll be right back with more Wednesday Night Basketball here on ESPN after the break.